Okay, this next one here, I'm going to show you your different uh, titles, title slides. And you want to go under Media Generators, Titles and Text. And uh, just scroll down through here, it'll give you an idea of what it's, what um, different options are. And if you highlight them, it pretty much shows you what it is, um, or how it works. And these bars here basically mean this slide can be set as transparent. In other words, this title can play over what's in the video. Um, these are all action titles. But if you want just a plain title with text, um, that's under Legacy Text. We'll cover that in a different video. For right now, let's do a, let's do an intro slide. Bring that down here, and uh, I drop that into Video Overlay, which means it'll lay over on top of the video. And if you want to edit the text. You can go in here and delete all this out. Type in anything you want. You know, something important like that. And uh, go up here and you can preview it. Now, as you can see, it's too big for the screen. Easy solution for that. Go back in here. Edit generated media. Now, if you notice, we type that out all on one line. You don't want to do that. So what I just did is, instead of this, I put my cursor here, I hit enter, and I put this line down at the bottom. So let's go back and play it and see how it shows up. shows up pretty good. I don't know why this bottom one's not moving. That just kind of disappears. But if you're having issues like that, <clears throat> like I am, and this one is pink by default, I didn't select it, what you might want to do is you put your mouse pointer <clears throat> excuse me when you go down to your keyboard, hold down control, press A. Select all of it. You can also do that by holding down your left mouse button, dragging it and selecting all the text. Now once you do that, <clears throat> you have the option to change the size of it. This one's at 48 pitch. We're going to change that to, let's say, 36. close it and as you can see it's pretty much visible <coughs> this bottom part looks like it will stay in there till the um, uh, the time is finished for that slide but that's pretty much how you do it on that one um, that's kind of how you do it on all of them and as far as changing the color, if you wanted to do so, you go down here where it says text color, click that little arrow, and you can slide down through here and pick one that you like. You know, let's pick yellow because a lot of people like yellow. And you replay it, see how it looks pretty much playing, just playing with the different options on it. Uh, if you don't like what the text quite looks like, you know, the format of it, put your mouse pointer here, left click and drag to highlight it, and you go up here, and you can pick a bunch of different ones. I'm going to go to one of my favorites that 
Um, it's pretty much universal. Aerial. Close that out. 